Kiss 92.5 and Kiss92.5.com. We're hanging out here with Nelly. That was just a dream. Hope you guys are uh, digging that as much as you did from day one. We still get phone calls for that song uh, on a daily I basis. I hope so. I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty simple. Thank you very much. I want to talk a little bit about the way you, that you make music these days. Mm -hmm. I'll ask you flat out a yes or no. Do you like auto-tune? Uh, you know what? I'm not against it. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. I don't always feel. It's just one of those things to where it's a part of music. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just. Is it's, it a phase? Because I mean, I mean I, you, I, you've been at the front of a lot of a lot of trends in music, and it, would you say that this is a, something that's going to come and go? You know what? A while ago, when singers first started, they wouldn't dub their tracks. Right. Singers would go in, and they thought it was disrespectful if you had to stop and retake a track. Well, Neo calls it cheating. You, you know what I'm saying? With that? Well, I mean, some artists before Neo would call the way Neo records cheating. Fair enough. So you see what I'm saying? So it's just an evolution. It's, just, it's right. a it's it's an evolution. Some artists don't do it, and that's their choice. Some artists do do it, and that's their choice. If if you have a fan base for it, and you have people that are supporting what you do, then that's on you. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say that it's cheating. I wouldn't say that it's nothing. It's what he does. You know what I'm saying? I'm holding this CD in my hand right now. Is this a dying art? The CD? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. You so, know what I'm saying? From a business-wise, you know my label is over there cringing. So, but, <laughs> but it's all good. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a realist. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what? And that's one thing it is. I will say. You've always been extra honest every time I've ever talked to you. I try to be, man. So I really appreciate you saying that because... I look at this, you know, you flip mm -hmm. open an album and it was so cool to check out the liner notes yeah, and the man. pictures of the artist and all that kind of stuff. But now it seems like the focus is on the digital thing, you know what I mean? Where an artist can release four or five singles that all go to number one before mm -hmm. you even hear about the album. Yeah. You know, Drake's an example of that. Where, you know, he was enormous before the guy even had a CD out. Yeah. That's so is that a trend? Um, I think I just think that's where music is. You know, ev evolution is everything, man. And yeah. it's, it, it's in everything and it's never going to stop. But, I mean... Never mind this. There's no place to sell this. That's yeah, the that's point. That's the yeah. <laughs> that's the point. You know, when you used to come up here, when I came up here, I did in stores. Yeah, huge. You know what I'm saying? I would go to the record stores when the album come out, and you would sit there and you would sign hundreds, if not a thousand CDs of people, you know, lined up. Yeah. And now you don't you don't have a record store. You have no way to connect with that artist one on one like that. Now it's just, it's other ways. You know, you have the Ustream, you have the Twitter, you have things now. But it's it's from a distance. It's never really connecting one on one. And like you said, I love to get the inserts. I, it's I the love best to pull part. It I love it. Read the credits and see who they sending shouts out to and see who produced what. And, but that's just me. Hey, you know what? I'm in the same boat as you. So uh, let me ask you then. Part of the promotional aspect of things. A lot of times you're seeing artists now wanting to get their music on TV shows. Things like Glee. Are we going to see Nelly featured on Glee? I think they did it. Did they already? Did they already I think do they that? Did. I think they might have did a song or two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I, it's one of those things, man. I, I, I guess so. You it's know, a promotional I, I thing. I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, I'm glad that they did. <laughs> So then uh, for the music of uh, being on TV, then we talked about you being on TV, uh, CSI New York. I guess the yeah. last time we saw you doing so many serious acting, um, Longest Yard was awesome. I, I mean, that's old news now, Thanks. but I mean, uh, you're looking to do any more acting or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. Um, the thing is, when the time is right and as long as it's right for me, yeah. you know, um, I think creatively it's hard for me to do two things at once. Business-wise, of course, if the numbers add up and the... the T's across and I's are dotted, then I could do 10 different things as long as the numbers add up. But creatively, you know, which acting is, it's art. So it's kind of hard to put all that focus in one and not the other. Yeah. So when I'm doing music, I have to really focus in on that music because of this, you know, because you have to do this, because you yeah. have to travel. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to acting, but when I do acting, I'm going to do acting. Because you've always, yeah, and I like you said that, because you've always said that you have a real respect for the art yeah. of acting. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? You so, better. You get swallowed up or it's, it's, it's not a game. So what do you uh, what do you see yourself doing down the line future-wise as, uh, as far as acting goes? Um, I Anything don't know. you want to do? It's kind of like how you see yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, don't, I, I know I'm not ready to cry on screen. Or, Come on, you really? Know, I, I don't think I'm going to be doing too many daddy daycares or nothing like that. No? You know what I'm saying? No. But, You're not going to um, see a softer side anytime soon? Uh, Romantic comedy? Nothing? Nah, nah, I think, I think uh, you know, we might have to bring back Rambo or something. You know what I'm saying? Rambo? <laughs> Rambo 2011 you know with Nelly. Yeah, yeah, you know, we got to spice it up a little bit. We got to get back to kicking a little ass around here. All right, <laughs> I got a question. 
question from Twitter. You mentioned Twitter. Are you big with the social media stuff? You love that? I, I've just caught on. I've just caught on probably in the last year or two. You know. You like the uh, the idea of being able to contact the fans just like that? I think I think it's and a, for I them think, to contact you. I think you it's too. a gift and a curse. Yeah. You know, I definitely think it's a gift and a curse. I think in the wrong hands. You know, as they say, when Twitter goes wrong, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because people, what people forget is we are human, you know. And I, I think about um, when we still love Elvis. If he had Twitter, probably some of the stuff he would have said, you know. Wow. <laughs> you, wow. Know what I'm you know what I'm saying? <laughs> with, when we still love the Beatles, if they, if they had Twitter when they was going through what they were going through with each other. So the could you imagine some of the stuff they might have been calling each other on Twitter <laughs> like this? <laughs> the Facebook profile for Elvis, would it be skinny Elvis or fat Elvis? Uh, he probably put a nice pitch up there. Elvis would, was a cool he'd cat. Be one of those you know guys, he'd be one of those guys who's you know in his 40s and he's putting up a picture when he's yeah, 22. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Elvis is a cool cat. He ain't no fool. <laughs> you know what I'm so. All right, so the Twitter question we got from you is from uh, at Tom Harbin. He wants to know, aside from your own music, do you ever catch yourself singing any other people's music in the shower? And if so, what are you singing? <laughs> um... It's crazy, man. Um, Someone's song has to get caught in your head. That's not your own. I ain't gonna even let you into that. I, ain't let I don't know what's that. going on. I ain't gonna let you into that. I ain't gonna let you into that. It's a, it's a few joints, man. I'm, I'm very, very well-rounded when it comes to music. You know, I'm very, very open-minded, too, as well, because that, that allows me to do my thing. You know, um, if you can see, I've collaborated with everybody from the bottom of rap to the top of rap to the top of pop, uh, top country. of country. On, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, even uh, Canada's my man Sean Paul. Make sure I say that I'm a huge Sean Paul fan and all that. So I appreciate good music. Well, then, uh, to touch on that question a little further, is there a song you hear on the radio that you go, man, I wish I thought of that? Do you yeah. ever get like that, or do you, do you just do your hobby for Um... You're definitely, you're definitely happy. You're definitely happy for some, for for everybody else because I mean I, it's just different for me because I am a realist and I understand that 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 just wouldn't have happened. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, it's hard for me to think that way. Yeah. But um, I appreciate, I appreciate it all. I appreciate it all. How's the family? Everything good? Everything is good, man. Everything is good as as can be going. So you know we hang it in there. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Well, one more time. The man is performing yep. tonight at the Cool House. Here he is, right here. Yeah, He's gonna rock the stage one last time. Tell the world, tell everyone listening to Kiss 92.5 right now mm -hmm. what you plan on doing to them if they come to the show tonight. Tonight we are definitely gonna rock it from the start to the finish. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you get a chance to come out there. Get a chance to come early too. Check out Cali Swag. They're gonna teach you how to dougie and all that right there. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't know how, they're gonna teach you. I love the little young cats. They got great energy out there, so it kind of adds on and everybody. Else else is, 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 is amazing as well so um you know from start to finish we gonna rock it i got my whole family the whole lunatics is in the building i also got my new artist avery storm which some of y'all might know from the here i am joint featuring myself and rick ross he got a new project coming out we're gonna tap on his project we got a song or two we're gonna do from that and we're just gonna have a lot of fun up here man and, and just basically us giving back and saying thank you for supporting us since the beginning just so you know i turned my microphone off two minutes ago that was perfect you did i'm kidding i'm no kidding doubt. <laughs> hey man thank you so no much no doubt and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, champ. All right.